Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Ninth Grade Experience Podcast. I'm Chris Dutchko, the host, and today we're going to have another little mini episode here. Um, with everything being remote this week due to the snow, uh, it was hard to get in contact with people. So we posted another message board question to see if people would be interested in coming onto the show and giving us a little bit of a taste of what they did on their snow days earlier in the week, uh, Monday and Tuesday of this past week. Uh, we had almost 27 inches of snow, which is the second highest recorded snow total in the Lehigh Valley uh, behind a storm that we had a couple of years ago. So it was quite the uh, momentous occasion here uh, that gave us two complete days off before the rest of our week was the remote instructional days where we did online school. So we reached out. We wanted to see what students were up to on those days. I know I did a lot of shoveling and a lot of moving around and we were out with my kids sledding and doing other stuff. But I was curious to see what the students of Emmaus High School, ninth grade students of Emmaus High School were doing. Uh, since, you know, I, I joke with them so many times that on Facebook, I see uh, parents saying that they want a real snow day for their kids and, I, I, you know, going out and playing in the snow and enjoying all the things of being a kid. So I was curious to see what everyone did on these snow days. So we got uh, some responses here on the board. Uh, no one wanted to come on and record with us this week, and that's okay. Hopefully in the future we get some more people. Uh, we have some ideas in the fire here to kind of uh, get some more student voices on here as we go forward. Uh, but I'm going to read some of the responses that we got here from students, and they were pretty good. Um, they gave us a little bit about their days uh, in the snow on Monday and Tuesday. So uh, Ryan Bennett uh, checked in first. He was the first responder to the post saying, started his day by waking up at 9 a.m., uh, then played board games with his family, then they got... Uh, many layers of warmth to go outside to snow blow and shovel snow for two hours. Then they were sledding at the fire station next to Willow Lane Elementary School, which is a great hill if you're not familiar with it right there off the Sauerkraut Road. Um, we then ended the day with a nice home-cooked meal and a movie. It's like uh, everything that you'd imagine you'd see in a, uh, a Christmas movie, um, big snow. So a uh, nice story there from Ryan. Naomi Sharpless uh, chimed in, woke up and shoveled and then went sledding with friends. They made a jump on the hill, so they all got some air going down. Uh, watched some movies, had fun in the snow. The best part was having a relaxing two days and a chance to be in the moment and look at the beautiful snow. And I think that chance to be in the moment is something that a lot of people were thankful for those first couple days. Uh, you know, with all the different online learning that we're doing, I think just kind of taking a step back and getting outside. Uh, I think a lot of people enjoyed that time. A uh, student that didn't want their name mentioned uh, said their family just chilled out during the snow days. The funny thing that happened is that their parents started dancing when they found out they had off due to, to the snow. So I don't know if it's that the parents had off because of they were because of the snow or the kids had off, but uh, some dancing going on in that house there. Uh, Astrid Lichtenwaller Walner uh, chimed in when he got up, uh, got dressed, and then uh, family went outside to shovel for about two hours. After a while, there was a mountain of snow, and if you live somewhere like in town in Emmaus or in a you know, townhomes, I'm sure the mountains of snow were really big in your area. His sister jumped in, in it and basically bounced while it was being compacted. Uh, after that, his sister and him uh, started building stairs to get to the top and then made a platform out of the snow to stand and sit on. It was definitely a lot of fun, but super tiring, super with uh, seven U's, I think, in it. So Asher was out uh, tiring himself out there. A uh, couple more here. Uh, Michael... Michael Cheese, uh, Chies or Cheese, sorry, uh, uh, said that he slept until 5 p.m., ate Skittles, played video games, and then watched TV till 3 a.m. So that is quite the snow day when you start at 5 and go till 3 a.m. Hopefully, Michael was up in time for his uh, remote classes on Wednesday, or if he did that Monday night into Tuesday, then he got pretty lucky there. Uh, Amelia Baldwin said, mainly shoveled a lot of snow and then made hot cocoa and watched movies while doing some schoolwork, so catching up on a little bit of work. And Braden Shenowolf very succinctly, three words, says, I went snowboarding. And you could see on the news, the lines at Bear Creek and Blue Mountain uh, on those days, uh, lots of snow there as well. So we thank those students for checking in with us here. You know, always be on the lookout in our class of 2024 Schoology page for another uh, thing you can comment on. Uh, always, we're looking for people that want to come on and talk to us about what's going on in their lives here as ninth grade students here at Emmaus High School. So you can always reach out to me through email at cstuchco at eastpennsd.org. You can follow us on Instagram at ninth grade experience. You can follow us on Facebook if you do that at ninth grade experience. Um, 
different ways to reach out to us and kind of see what's going on here. So in the next couple of weeks, we're hoping to record with some different student groups here. But again, if you ever have an idea that you want to talk about on the podcast, please reach out to us where you can respond in our message boards that we can kind of uh, see what's going on here. So we had some good stuff coming up here for the rest of February and March, uh, we think is going to be career month again. So we'll jump into some of that as well, too. So this is a short episode. So thank you very much for listening. We just want to make sure that, you know, we talked about what people did during their their snow time this week. So next Monday on the 8th, we'll be back to uh, regular instruction with our, f- our hybrid plan. So and remember, we have off next Friday. So four day week, no matter what the weather holds for us coming up here. So Thanks a lot. Um, Thanks for listening and have a great weekend and we'll talk to you next week.